the devastation caused by the crash created an opportunity. By destroying most of the village, we could then reconstruct it. We decided to rename the village Emmerdale in tribute. So Beckendale becomes Emmerdale. That's right. Should have called it Annie Sugdenvale. <laughs> and with the ratings on a new high, filming in the real village of Esholt got a lot harder. It was like doing live theatre. You get busloads coming in to see us filming. We couldn't film because of the noise. You'd be like, and action, a baby's crying. So I think after a while, they realised the only, only thing we could do would be to build our own village. So a brand new village set was built. It took five months with the beautiful filming location covering the equivalent of over eight football pitches. The new Emmerdale village, inspired by Esholt, opened for filming in 1998 and was given the royal seal of approval during a visit by Queen Elizabeth in 2002. It's an amazing place to be. This is my office, this is where I work. Going down to the village, I used to think, oh God, do I really work here? <laughs> The village is beautiful in the summer. I mean, it's stunning. We have a lot of wildlife and it's, when it's sunny, it's gorgeous, but in the winter, hmm, different story. I used to film in the rain all the time and us going, but we're drenched, keep going, we can get it in before sunset. And I do remember one day it was sunny. In 1994, Sir Phil Redmond introduced the Dingles, one of Emmerdale's most iconic families. One of the things I was really missing was a kind of urbanite view of what country folk are like, and I think the Dingles came to do that, to give us that kind of hillbilly feel of living to their own values and their own means and their own ways. You know what you're going to get with a Dingle, don't you? Sauce, Viv! Oh! Dingles, who gives a monkey? You do! Smack him, Dad! <laughs> Them colours we are, complexion. <laughs> you all right? And we've got three of the original troublemakers together to spill the beans. There's a tomato stain here. I think yeah. it was made in about 1998 that nobody's bothered to clean up. <laughs> Do you remember how cold it was when it was a real outdoor yeah, house? Yeah, we used to film in the actual house. Um, Pre-Bell. Yeah, before baby Bell was born. Lisa. Happy Christmas, sack. It's a girl. I always remember Jane Cox saying, uh, who played Lisa, I can't work with rat <laughs> muck on the table. <laughs> I absolutely refuse. It was definitely a bad smell. They don't get that in Downton Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> what is a dingle always oh, doing a crisis? Run. No. Retire down to the woolly. Wait for the good Lord to provide. There's a dingle type family in every community. Yeah. And with that upstairs, downstairs, the rich, so you always have the Tates, the rich and the poor. I wouldn't worry, you'll get your eviction. Good. People love to watch that kind of, you know, the upper class and then there, there's us hovering underneath. Jack Dingle, what do you want? I want to talk to you. We've done all our talking. I want to sort it out, man to man. Man to man? What do you think? You'll kill him. Aye. Hang on, Frank. I'll be right down. It was a different <laughs> show back then, wasn't it? Yeah, it was completely. Different different. It was very like it was very like Carry On Dingles. My favourite. We love this one when we were at home farm and we pretended to be yeah. tour guides. We both work for the Eden Dales Heritage Experience. She was supposed to be the lady. <laughs> the lady Manda Dingley. So sorry to keep you all waiting. Oh, when I'm out shopping for clothes, time just passes me by, don't you know? Oh, got a little soiree out the palace next week. Can't go in these old rags, what? <laughs> when we talk about it, you think, it's, we can't have done that. It's ludicrous. <laughs> it's like a sitcom. We were like this really solid family. And even though they gave us scripts, you know, and which were naturally funny, we would put our isms in there. Yeah, yeah. And that's what made us, I think, flourish. And that, that created more Dingle Mayhem. I remember when I arrived, because you guys have been here at least two years, two and a half years before I arrived. Marlon. How are you doing, our oh, Mandy? <laughs> I arrived on set and it was quite normal at first. And then we went inside and this, this sort of like giddiness, just, it just began. It just kind of, I was thinking, there's a funny atmosphere here. You know? And then at that point, something flew past my head and crashed against the wall. Somebody just thrown a pie or something. <laughs> and it hit the wall. I'm just thinking, what's, what is, what's this? a zoo, I'm in a zoo. If we hadn't been popular, we'd have been sacked there and then, wouldn't we? For... Probably should have been sacked. 